Hi, I'm Lisa Tipton, director of the New York Youth Symphony Chamber Music Program. And I'm Tyler Thomas, assistant director. Hi, I'm Adrienne Kim, pianist and chamber music program coach and faculty at Manus College and Manus Prep. This is the fourth video in the series featuring the extraordinary chamber music of underrepresented composers. Each session highlights five composers, and today we will share the stories and sound bites of selections of Asian composers, Bright Sheng, Rina Esmael, Kenji Bunch, Ananda Sukarlin, and Beata Moon, who we are delighted is with us to share a few words. Hi, I'm Beata Moon. I'm a pianist, composer, and teaching artist. America is a nation of immigrants, and just as Hispanics in the U.S. are from many different countries, so are Asians. Asian Americans come from East Asia, such as China, Japan, Korea, and Southeast Asia, such as India, the Philippines, Vietnam, Indonesia, Singapore, and the list goes on. Some Asians were born in their country of origin and immigrated to the U.S., while others were born in the United States to immigrant parents. My parents came from Korea, and I was born in North Dakota, and I grew up in Indiana. My dad was a minister, and church music and American composers like Aaron Copland and Leonard Bernstein were influences on my music. The influence on the music of Asian composers vary from traditional composers to the cultural heritage of their country of origin, as you soon will hear. Thank you for tuning in. Beata Moon, a Korean-American composer, is a versatile musician acclaimed for her expressivity and sincerity. Beata continues to reach audiences through her many faceted roles as a composer, pianist, educator, and activist. After completing a semester of the master's program at Juilliard, she took a break from playing in order to reflect on what music means to her personally. It was at this time that she discovered composing and teaching, which resulted in her return to performing. As of late, social issues have been the inspiration for Moon's compositions. Through her various roles as a teaching artist, performer, composer, and activist, Moon has been able to fulfill her wish to work musically with people of all ages and backgrounds. She wants to share her belief that music making is an invigorating way to process life's varied challenges, while also striving towards social change. Moon works as a teaching artist for Carnegie Hall, Lincoln Center, the New York Philharmonic, and traveled to Seoul, Korea in 2019 to work with the El Sistema Bass Orchestra Joint. Have a listen. <laughs> Ananda Sukalan is one of Indonesia's most prominent composers of today. As an Indonesian Spanish Muslim pianist, he is constantly exploring ways to bridge connections between cultures and to make music more accessible. After growing up in Jakarta, he then went to Europe when he was 17. He graduated in 1993 from the Royal Conservatory of The Hague and then went on to study at the Hart School of Music. He was the first Indonesian artist who established the cultural relationship between Portugal and Indonesia by performing as a soloist with the Portuguese National Symphony Orchestra in 2000, right after the reopening of the diplomatic relationships between the two countries. His compositions include works for orchestra, chamber music, and solo instruments, but it is his vocal compositions, art songs, choral works, and theater works that have consolidated his high reputation as a composer. What I found amazing about Ananda's works is a collection of chamber and solo pieces that include piano parts composed for pianists with less than 10 fingers, providing more accessibility to music for everyone, not just the listeners, but also the performers. Take a listen to some of his chamber music.
composer Rina Esmail was born in 1983 and works between the worlds of Indian and Western classical music to bring communities together through the creation of equitable musical spaces. Esmail holds degrees from the Juilliard School and the Yale School of Music and received a Fulbright Nehru grant to study Hindustani music in India. After her return, she started an incredible friendship with Sayali Oak, a Hindustani vocalist from India. Their trusting collaboration over the past six years allows them to ask really deep questions about one another's musical cultures. She has written for the Kronos Quartet, Imani Winds, Albany Symphony, and Conspirare, to name a few. A resident of Los Angeles, Esmael is currently the Swan Family Artist-in-Residence with the Los Angeles Master Chorale and the Composer-in-Residence with Seattle Symphony. She is the Artistic Director of Shastra, a nonprofit organization that promotes cross-cultural music, connecting musical traditions of India and the West. Her music is wonderfully intricate and layered. She has written a lot of chamber music and even has several pieces that she calls music for young people. Here is a short excerpt from her beautiful piano trio. Chang is a Chinese-American composer, pianist, music teacher, and conductor born in Shanghai, China. After graduating from high school during the Cultural Revolution, he was one of the first students accepted by the Shanghai Conservatory of Music. The Cultural Revolution proved to be a major influence on Cheng's music, particularly his orchestra work, Hun, in memoriam. Other pieces, such as the opera song of Majnun, are based on folk song. Cheng is also influenced by the Hungarian composer Bartok, who himself used folk music elements in his compositions. Sheng's music combines elements inspired by both Western and Asian cultures into his pieces, leading his music to be performed around the world. Sheng currently is professor of music at the University of Michigan and was involved in the Silk Road Project, a music project that stretches across different nations and cultures. Bright Sheng has won numerous honors and is the founder and artistic director of the Intimacy of Creativity. Have a listen. Kenji Bunch is a Japanese-American composer and is one of America's most engaging, influential, and prolific composers of today. Through a blend of classical and popular styles infused with folk influences, Bunch's work has inspired a new genre called Neo-American music. His interest in history, philosophy, and cross-cultural sharing of the arts reflect in his works, and his varied style mirrors the diversity of global influence on American culture and highlights his ability to incorporate genres such as bluegrass, hip-hop, jazz, and funk into his works. The rich tonal harmonies of Bunch's works easily lends himself to dance and film. Also an outstanding violist, Bunch received a dual degrees in viola and composition from the Juilliard School, and was a founding member of the highly acclaimed ensembles of Flux Quartet and Networks. Bunch currently is artistic director of Funeral Music and teaches at Parkland State University Reed College. Take a listen to Summer Hours for Wind Quintet and Piano premiered in August 2018. Thank you for watching our video. 
further information about these composers, please check out at the bottom of the video in the description box. You will find a link to entire movements as well as other works by each of the composers. And for our next session video, we'll talk about composers from South America.